Hello everyone, thank you for watching CN Tech Pro. My name is Nicholas and today we're gonna be looking at Raspberry Pi and some tape. No, we're not gonna be doing that. What we are gonna be doing is looking at the Ryzen 7 2700X and uh, we're gonna be trying to overclock it, so stay tuned. Hey guys, so just wanted to let you know there's no real way to break your processor unless you get the temperatures too high or something along those lines. Just keep an eye on the temperatures, make sure they don't get too high when you're running Cinebench and things like that. And in the BIOS, uh, the processor only gets to about 30C anyways, so you don't really have to worry about the BIOS at all. Um, but once you're running uh, Windows, uh, just make sure to check on the temperatures, use something like HW Monitor or something like that along those lines. Yeah, so let's get started. All right, so for this test, I'm gonna uh, be sitting right here, and I'm gonna have my PC pulled out to here right now. Uh, that way I can get to it easier. Um, have it open so we can get better temps and so we can play around a little more. Hey, so what happened is I told my computer to restart and basically it wouldn't do anything. So we have to reset the BIOS, so let's do it. Basically, what I'm trying to do here is there's a little tiny jumper right down there. I'm just going to reset the BIOS. I get it. Alright, I think I did it. Let's see. Yeah, so my motherboard has LEDs on it. I usually turn them blue, but right now they're orange. That's default, so we're good to go. For some people, uh, there's just going to be a button, uh, you know, just depends. Look at the manual for your motherboard if you really don't know where to find your clear CMOS. I actually had to look at my manual. Here, let's do some trickery. So yeah, it's somewhere in there. Um, but anyways, I digress. What I ended up doing is I'm putting it at 1.325 volts. Uh, uh, load line calibration is going to be high instead of extreme. For some reason, I got better results on that. Um, clock is 4.15 gigahertz, uh, 3400 megahertz for the RAM, and crush fingers because I've had this working for days and now all of a sudden it doesn't want to work. I don't want that either. Well, there you have it, folks. There's no real need to overclock your Ryzen CPU. Precision Boost seems to be doing a pretty good job on its own, and in all honesty, it's not really worth the 50 to 100 points on Cinebench R15, at least for me. I do like to tinker, so if you like to tinker as well, you know, that might be something good to do. Now, you may get better results with a water cooler or an AIO. My brother's running an AIO on the Ryzen 7 2700X in his system, and he's getting about 1700, so it's a little bit more. I'm getting about 1500, so your mileage may vary. Well, that's certainly not what I expected. Uh, if you like the video, please leave your likes and comments down below. If you have a Ryzen CPU and you want to share your results, please leave them in the comments down below, um, as, long, as well as with your system and your build and all that. Uh, that way we get a full view of what's actually going on. And uh, I'm really curious to see what the scores you guys are going to get because our, the jump between me and my brother's CPU was just huge, but he did it up a water cooler. So I'm just really curious to see what you guys think of the video and also uh, what your CPUs are doing as well. So thank you guys so much for watching and uh, we'll see you on the next one.